Hi there, my name's Simon. Uh, welcome to our trial and training facility down in Plymouth. We're on board our vessel Echo Explorer and today we're going to be talking about Sonodyne's new wireless structure deflection monitoring system. So this system comprises a gyro compact and four compacts that get installed onto the structure to monitor the heading, pitch and roll of the structure during deployment and then once the structure is landed on the seabed we can monitor deflection using the compacts installed on the four corners. So this system is part of a new module within Fusion 2. It's all completely wireless, it's all data transmission via acoustics, so that makes it much simpler to mobilise and makes it much simpler to demobilise and there is nothing left on the structure uh, after the end of the installation. During the fabrication of the structure, we can install four of our receptacles in each corner and then a further receptacle somewhere in the middle. We can then bolt our stabs onto the base of the gyro compact and the inclinometer compacts and then when it comes to loadout, these can be installed onto the structure. By doing it this way, we don't have to have any equipment permanently tied up onto the structure and we don't have to have any hard wiring because all the data is transmitted acoustically. The receptacles become your permanent reference frame and all your dimensional control measurements can be done to the receptacles. So the equipment itself doesn't have to be installed on the structure during loadout. So then when it comes to the mobilization, you can then install your gyro compact and your inclinometer compacts onto the structure then. Gyro Compact is fitted with a battery that will last approximately 28 hours. We can turn the Gyro Compact on and off acoustically subsea, and we can also fit it with an LED display that scrolls through heading, pitch and roll. That display can be fitted with a near field communications system, which means we can turn the Gyro Compact on and off on deck as well, meaning you don't have to go onto the structure to turn it on and off. So obviously down here in Plymouth, we haven't got access to a structure. So to try and simulate what goes on on a structure, we have four compacts deployed from the pontoons next to us, and then we have one gyro compact deployed from the vessel. The compacts on the pontoon are all more or less at the same level to try and give us exact simulation of what it would be like on a structure. So in the software, we've already got our beacons in here. So we've got our four compacts and we've got our gyro compact already set up in the software. In the system setup, I've got a vehicle that's got the transceiver on it that we're going to use to communicate with uh, the compacts on the structure. That can either be on an ROV that's monitoring the actual installation, or it can be just a dunker over the side of the vessel. And then I have my structure that has our five receptacles on the structure already. And this is where we put in the offsets of the receptacles that we've already measured as part of our dimensional control survey that happened during the fabrication of the structure. So the main control is in our tools menu and we have our SDM option. So the SDM option is actually an upgrade to Fusion 2 and customers can rent that option from us on a daily basis depending on the duration of the project. So I can select SDM and Structure 1 that's already got set up. And that brings up the very simple UI that displays all the information that we need to be able to monitor the structure. As soon as I've opened this window, in the background the software is automatically starting to do the configuration for all the sensor data that we need to recover from the compacts. So the compacts on the four corners, it's already starting setting up the depth measurements from all of those. So we can see here it's starting to interrogate them every second and the data starts coming in as soon as that's received. And then for the gyro compact, it's going to start interrogating the heading um, and the pitch and roll that we need. So that information slowly gets populated as the system's talking to the compacts during installation. And then we see the depths starting to come in on the UI as that information is coming in. So now we've had at least one depth from each of the compacts on the four corners and we've already started to calculate deflection from all that information. Shortly we should get the heading pitch and roll coming in from the gyro compact and that gets displayed here. On a normal situation where we have the gyro compact 
and the compacts on the structure, we can obviously do a comparison between the pitch and roll from the gyro compact and the pitch and roll that's calculated from the compacts in the corner. But obviously in this situation, because everything's not fixed onto the same structure, we're going to get differences between pitch and roll from the compacts and from the gyro compact. So we use the four compacts on the structure to determine deflection. So we take the depths from three of the compacts and define a reference plane using that. And then the fourth compact, we work out any vertical deflection of that compact from the reference frame. And we work that out across all four corners of the structure to work out a deflection for each corner. So that's what's displayed here on the Fusion 2 UI. So we get a deflection in each corner and the software also works out pitch down both sides of the structure and roll as well down both sides of the structure and then averages them to give us an overall roll and pitch and then inclination of the structure. So at the moment we've got everything set up at more or less the same depth so we've got zero deflection happening on the structure and the software is calculating uh, a very small deflection. So what we're going to do now is manually induce a deflection in the structure by raising one of the compacts slightly into the water column to simulate a deflection that may happen during installation. So as that compact's being raised, we're getting slightly shallower readings on receptacle two, and we can see that the deflection is starting to increase. The software's given us some warning signs to show that we're getting larger deflection. And we can see that with the warnings coming up here and also the deflection is now starting to go into the red and we're getting big red crosses. So that's warning the users that something's potentially going wrong during that installation and they need to look at what's happening to try and rectify that situation. So thanks for watching our introduction video to the SDM module with Infusion 2. If you have any further questions, please contact your local Sonodyne representative.